Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rob here. I'm about to do another job that I swore I would never do again. Uh, I'm going to spray text a ceiling for a friend. The only reason I'm doing it is it's a friend. I'm doing him a favor. I have the equipment and he's asked me to go ahead and spray a textured ceiling for him. He's decided to go with popcorn, which is a snow text product. And I can't believe I'm doing it again. It's not terribly hard. It's just a very dirty, messy job. So this is what we're starting with. Brand new, fresh drywall. We're gonna be spraying all these bulkheads. Before I can even attempt to finish the ceiling, I've got to sand the top edge of all the walls. I'm using an angled sponge sander, and this just allows me to get a tight, clean line between the wall and the ceiling. Okay, so now that all that sanding is done, we've sanded the whole top edge. And the only reason I do that is because I'm going to spray the ceiling with uh, a primer. And I don't want to be spraying on top of unsanded mud. So all that's done now. Now I'm going to go ahead and prime up all the ceilings. And once that's dry, then we can poly all the walls and go ahead and spray text uh, and do the finish on the ceiling. I'm going to be using an airless sprayer to prime the ceiling. That's the fastest you can roll it if you don't have an airless or you don't want to rent one. But uh, this is the fastest way for us to do it. And we're looking to get all this done in one day. So this is uh, what we're gonna do. So one thing I want to mention here, any of you governments that are listening, this is really unfair that all of the N95 masks are allocated to the hospitals where we're located and we're forced as contractors to wear these medical masks in crazy dusty conditions and down the road you're going to have huge problems with people that are in the trades that cannot get the proper equipment because you've allocated all of the PPE to hospitals and the stores are not allowed to purchase the N95s. I think it's wrong and I think uh, you're going to have some big problems a few years from now when you got a bunch of guys that have been inhaling uh, dust and insulation dust and drywall dust and all that kind of stuff because of this so-called pandemic. Now I'm just laying out all the poly to be hung on the walls, uh, getting it all laid out along the walls. I find this is the best way to do it and here we're just using a simple office stapler to staple it up. So I'm using this stapler as a bit of a hack uh, for a couple of reasons, obviously speed number one, but as you recall we sanded all the top edge and I find tape just does not stick to sanded drywall so these leave such a small hole that it's an easy patch after the fact. So it's so much easier using a stapler rather than tape. It leaves a one inch gap on top that you can easily scrape the spray text off with and you basically just open up the stapler staple of plastic to the wall every three, four feet, and that's enough to keep it up there while you spray text the ceiling.
The spray text machine I use is uh, somewhat of old school. It's a dual flex and it has the hopper that you have to carry uh, basically above your head. So this is about the consistency you want that. Pretty sloppy because it does have to come out of the hopper and spray up nicely. So that's about the consistency you want. Kind of just like cottage cheese maybe. Kind of looks like it too. Okay, so it's looking like we're gonna to have to do one side of this basement at a time. The homeowner's just got too much stuff in here. So we went ahead, polyed this room, which you saw, and over to the second part of the living room. This is gonna be a gym. So we're gonna go ahead, spray text all these ceilings on this side of the house, then move all this equipment. He's got weight equipment and everything over underneath there. Gonna move it all onto this side, and then we'll go ahead and poly the other side and finish that off. Hopefully get this all wrapped up by the end of the day. So anytime spraying uh, popcorn ceiling or uh, snow tech ceiling, you always want to go one direction, then go back into the same space and do the opposite direction. And that will give you a full coverage uh, on the entire ceiling. I cannot even express how much that sucked. I said it before and I'm gonna say it one more time, I am never doing that job again. In fact, I think I'm gonna sell my spray text machine so I never have to do it again. But maybe some of you are in the middle of starting that or doing that and maybe you picked up a few tips. If you did, great. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. We're doing DIY stuff all the time. This, this particular job, I'm not so sure it's DIY. Um, if, if it were me, I'd be calling in the professionals. Um, they have different equipment, truck units that spray that stuff up. So it's a little easier for them uh, than mixing pail after pail. But um, that being said, you can do it yourself. Uh, I just will never do it again. So anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.